to my channel if this is your first time here. Welcome, my name is Aisha and please subscribe down below. Hit that little red button, support your girl. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I hauled this at, in my Sephora VIB sale haul and a lot of you guys asked for a review on these and here I am bringing it to you. So the two ones that I have are the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions and the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. In this video, I created this eye look and I kind of just went through my first thoughts and my first impressions of the palette. I have been kind of playing around with some of them, but this was my first time really, really digging into all the shades. So I gave you guys my full and honest opinion. Huda came out with four different versions of this palette. So I have the mauve obsessions and then also the warm obsessions. There's also like a colorful one that I forget the name of and then like a smoky obsessions, I believe. So um, I feel like there's a palette for everyone, which is awesome. Of course, you may know me you may not but warm tones are my shiz so I had to get the warm tones and then um, I love playing with rosy tones so I had to get this one as well so I went on Sephora during the VAB sale and I saw these and I was like what what yeah. that's a steal so I ordered two of them and when they came I was like this is tiny <laughs> this is so so little However, I will give my thoughts towards the end of this video on whether I think it's worth it because, I mean, you can't really judge a book by its cover or by how small it is. You know, big things come in small packages sometimes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully decide whether this is something you want to invest in. Um, and yeah, let's move on. As you can see, I already have my entire base on because I wanted to save some time. I will have everything that I used on my face listed and linked down below if you're interested. But first things first, I'm gonna... Ooh, the most satisfying thing in the world. Oh yeah. Oh man. Editing Aisha is gonna really appreciate that, but wow, this mirror is actually like really, really clear. So I'm very happy with that. Sometimes when you get little palettes like this, um, the quality of the mirror isn't really that amazing. I have some like oil right above my brow. But I am gonna go in with this one first because it has some good warm transition shades. I'm gonna go into this shade over here. And I'm just taking this on a Morphe M505, which is my favorite blending brush ever. I really appreciate how the transition shades in these palettes actually run deep enough for my dark skin. Um, because normally like, a warm palette will have like one transition shade and it'll be like an ashy brown and it does not show up on my skin very nicely so I do appreciate that these are nice, warm, and dark enough to show up as a transition on my eyes. Next I think I'm going to go into this shade over here which is kind of like a deeper, more terracotta brown and I'm just taking that on the same brush. Wow, that is super pigmented like right away and I did tap off these bra these um, shadows so I kind of like dip it in like this and then tap off any excess like that and still packs a punch with the pigment packs a punch with the pigment wow these are blending like so easily I'm like barely putting any pressure on this brush and this just like blended out seamlessly. I get very nervous with very pigmented shadows because sometimes when you place them down, it's really hard to blend them out of that area. But this, I'm not having any problems whatsoever. And I'm just kind of placing this on the same area that I did with the other transition, but slightly lower. So I don't want to bring it as high as I did the other color. Now in the Mauve Obsessions palette, I'm gonna be taking, I think this shade over here. I'm gonna take that on a slightly more tighter and denser brush. And this color doesn't really have much fallout at all. Like I'm kind of dipping my brush in there. These shadows are really good. Like they don't have a lot of fallout and it can be hard to formulate a good matte shadow with this much pigment. So I'm very impressed. So I'm just focusing this shade just on the outer corner but almost like in the outer third. So like from here down. And then going back into this brush with no additional product I mean, I'm just kind of blending that out slightly. So now I'm gonna start building up the deeper shades. So I'm gonna take this one over here, almost like a deep purple cranberry. Um, or is that called burgundy? I'm not really sure. But on the exact same brush, I'm going to put this on my outer corner. 
Now we can play with the shimmers, which I'm so excited about. So I think for the shimmers, I'm gonna be using the mauve palette because it just, I mean, I mean. I think I'm gonna go in with this one over here, but I'm gonna take it, so I'm gonna take it on a flat synthetic brush, um, a concealer brush, but I think I'm gonna wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus so that I can get this like extra, extra like shiny a little bit. Wow, that color is actually gorgeous. However, I don't think that putting MAC Fix Plus on it was the best idea because I find it's not really applying as nicely as I thought it would with the MAC Fix Plus. So I think I'm just gonna move on to my finger and then see if that helps at all. Oh yeah. So with the finger, as you can see, like I pick up a ton more product. I think I'm gonna add a little more dimension by honestly just using all three of the shimmers in this. So next I'm gonna go into this shimmery pink, place that in the center, and then pop the brightest pink into the very center of my eye just to create more dimension. Although I do love how this looks, I think it'll look even more elevated. Now that I'm done both eyes, I can definitely tell you guys that applying the shimmers with your fingers will just give you the best outcome, especially with this shade over here. I'm gonna bring this really close so you guys can see kind of what happened. So as you can see right over here, the shade, the shadow is like so, um, I mean, it's not loosely packed, but it's very, very buttery and creamy. So as you can see, it kind of moved around, which is why I think that just using your fingers will give you the best outcome. Because using a brush just kind of makes all the pigment fly all over the place. But with your finger, it really attaches to kind of like the oils and the warmth of your finger. And then when you apply it, you just get way better color payoff and everything. So I think I'm going to go into this shade over here, which is like a dark chocolate brown. And I'm going to apply that just in the outer corner. I am just loving this. I'm gonna finish my lower lash line just by using the same mattes that I used earlier. So the lashes are on and I feel like it brought together this entire look. Like I am just obsessed with how this looks, guys. I love it so, so much. I realized I didn't put an inner corner color. So I think, I don't know if I wanna do something matte or something shimmery yet. I feel like I should do something shimmery. But for now, I am just going to take this this matte shade over here, which I love that they included not like a stark white matte in this palette because this goes perfectly with my skin tone. I actually do really like this white shade, but I will say it's a little more powdery than the other shades, but I think it does a really beautiful job kind of brightening the eye. I think I am going to do a shimmer though because I feel like this look needs it. So I'm just going to go into the lightest kind of shimmery shade in this palette and dab that on top and see how that looks. Oh, actually, I love how that looks. I feel like that really ties the whole look together. I'm so obsessed with how this eye look turned out. I haven't done a look like this in such a long time and rose golds and pinks and mauves, I feel like just looks so beautiful on dark skin, on medium skin, just on every type of skin tone, but especially on dark skin, because I feel like I don't know, it just complements our skin tone so nicely, so I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put on just like a nude lip or something, and then I'll come back to share my final thoughts of these palettes. Now, do I think these things are worth it? Absolutely. I think for the price, um, these run for $27 US, and I believe they're around $35 Canadian. So I think, although they're pretty small, you get nine really, really good quality shadows. And honestly, I was very, very impressed with all the shades that I used. I tried to use um, a mix of both mattes and shimmers, and I'm very, very happy with them. As I mentioned, I think overall, um, from the shades that I used, this one over here is a lot more powdery than the other shadows that I used, but that doesn't mean that it didn't blend nicely. I still thought it blended very nicely, as you guys could obviously tell from when I was using it. Um, it just does have, no, it doesn't have fallout on the cheeks or on the eyes, but when you're dipping your brush into there, you will see like a lot of kickback. That's the word, kickback. And then the same thing with this white one. I think it can be slightly patchy. Um, but it still blends out very nicely and I actually do really really like this as an inner corner um, highlight on my eyes especially when I'm going for like a full matte look. Um, I think it looks beautiful and I always reach to this. It also looks very beautiful under the brow bone. So overall 
if you are a warm tone type of girl, I think you'll really enjoy this. Now I will say, I think this one is more versatile just because it has three shimmers. Now this one only has one shimmers, shimmers, and this only, ha only has one shimmer. Um, so because of that, like if you're not a matte person, then you probably would want to skip out on this palette. It does have this shimmer. It's very, very beautiful, very pigmented. I will give you guys a swatch over here. It's a beautiful shade, but again, it only comes with one. Um, me personally, I always wear mattes like over shimmers any day. I do wish that this had like a shimmery champagne instead of like a shimmery deep bronze gold because then it could be a little more versatile for the inner corner, etc. But overall, I still think this is very beautiful. Now moving on to the mauve. Oh, actually, I will say... Um, Warm tones, like you can pretty much find warm tone shadows anywhere. So if you do have a lot of warm tones in your collection, then I would probably say you're not really missing out on much with this one. However, if you're someone who travels a lot and are looking for just like one good warm tone matte palette that um, you know you could take with very easily it literally fits into the palm of the hand it's very small so it doesn't take up a lot of room and it's very sturdy packaging and also has a mirror so it's just like it's really great for travel so if you're a warm tone lover and travel a lot then I think it is worth it um, as for the mauve obsessions so impressed with this one especially but I think the colors blended out beautifully surprisingly for this color being so dark and richly pigmented there was like zero fallout even when I was dipping my brush in there I was like like, is there anything going on the brush? And there was, there was a lot of punch, but it was not like kind of kicking back everywhere. So these are like made very, very, very nicely. Um, I had that experience with both the mattes. With the shimmers, I would say, again, use your fingers because even this one looks very disheveled now because I was kind of digging in with my brush. So I just say using my fingers. I think these are worth it. I give them pretty much like a 9.5 out of 10. I think they have a good price point. Um, they're very convenient because they're so small. And you don't have to spend like $85 Canadian on a full Huda Beauty rose gold palette because I wanted it, but I'm glad I settled with these instead. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will have everything that I used on my entire face listed down below just in case you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys picked up any of these palettes or if you will be planning or if you're planning on picking them up after seeing this review um, and also which one do you want to pick up because there's four different ones I have these two but there's like a colorful one and a smoky one so let me know which one you guys are more interested in um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you in my next video bye everyone